I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on complex numbers. We will prove a very important theorem called De Moivre's theorem using the mathematical induction method. So we need to prove that cos theta plus i sin theta to the power of n is equal to cos n theta plus i sin n theta. Right. Now to use the method of induction, what we first need to check is what happens when n is equal to 1. So if n equals to 1, then what we get here is cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of 1, and which is clearly equal to cos theta plus i sine 1 theta, right? So theta. So which is the same as cos of 1 times theta, right? plus i sine of 1 times theta as shown here, right? So the formula works for n equals to 1. Now, let us assume that it works for n equals to m. In that case, what do we have? So we have cos of theta plus i of sine theta to the power of m should be equal to cos of m theta plus i sine of m theta. Correct? So, so if n equals to m, in that case, using this particular formula, we get that result. Now, we need to prove that what happens when n equals to m plus 1. Now, if that is the case, then we get cos of theta plus i sine of theta to the power of m plus 1. We need to prove that this should be equal to cos of m plus 1 theta plus i sine of m plus 1 theta, right? That is what we need to prove. Now, to show that, let's begin with the left side. So left hand side shows cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of m plus 1. I could write this as cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of m, right? And multiply this with power of 1. So I get this as cos of theta plus i sine theta to the power of 1. So that is m plus 1, correct? Now we get this result. Now we know already from our assumption that substituting that, that this term, the very first term here, is equal to cos of m theta plus i sine of m theta, correct? And then the next term is cos theta plus i sine theta, correct? Now, what is the product of two complex numbers? Well, the product of two complex numbers is that their arguments get multiplied, their, their absolute values get multiplied and arguments get added up. So in this case, using that, we get the result as cos of m theta plus theta, right? So cos of m theta plus theta plus i sine of m theta plus theta. Now, the result which I have used here is that the product of two complex numbers results into the, the absolute value becomes R1 and R2 and the argument becomes theta1 plus theta2, right? So at the end of this video, I'll give you the proof for this, correct? Proof at the end of the video. Okay. So I'll just attach that so that it helps you to correlate. Now this is exactly what we were looking for, correct? So now we could write this as clearly 
it is cos of we can take m theta outside so we get m plus 1 times theta plus i sine of m plus 1 theta so that really proves that this formula works correct and therefore we can now conclude that cos of theta plus i sine theta to the power of n should be equal to cos of n theta plus i sine n theta so if that is true for m plus 1 it is true for all natural numbers correct n you get the idea right so so this formula actually is proof for all natural numbers so we'll write this where n belongs to set of natural numbers since uh, when we use the method of induction we are using the values where n is a set of natural numbers is that clear to you so that is how we are going to prove de Morvey's theorem now i'll provide you with a link on number of applications of this where we'll have important test questions I'll appreciate if you could go through those and understand how to apply this theorem to solve many questions. We will actually prove de Morvey's theorem using mathematical induction. For that proof, we need to know what is product of complex numbers. So this exercise will be utilized over there to prove de Morvey's theorem. So here, now we'll concentrate on the complex numbers z1 and z2 with absolute values r1 and r2 and the arguments theta1 and theta2. These complex numbers can be written as z1 equals to r1 cos theta1 plus i sin theta1 and z2 equals to r2 cos theta2 plus i sin theta2. We need to find the product z1 times z2, right? Now, geometrically, I could represent these complex numbers uh, with the pole at O. Let us say Z1 is this complex number with R1 as the absolute value and theta1 as its argument. That means this angle here is theta1. Now, let us assume that Z2 is this complex number so so that is what z1 is being represented at this is z2 which has the absolute value of r2 and the argument of theta2 right so that means this angle here counterclockwise will be theta2 okay now when i do product of these then what do i get that is what we are interested in figuring out. Is that clear? Okay. So let's calculate the product. So we need to find what is Z1 times Z2 equals to. So clearly we have to multiply these. So we get R1 cos theta1 plus I sine theta1 times R2 cos theta2 plus I sine theta 2. Now when you multiply you get product of r1 and r2 right within the brackets we'll do product of the cosines and the sines so cos theta 1 cos theta 2 plus i times we can now write cos theta 1 sine theta 2 Now multiplying with the second term, we get plus i times sine theta 1 cos theta 2. i square is minus 1, right? So we'll write minus sine theta 1 sine theta 2. Clear? So that could be written as the product of r1 and r2. Now, Combining the terms which are real and imaginary, we get cos theta 1 cos theta 2 minus sin theta 1 sin theta 2 
and now for the i terms we could write this as plus i so we have the term here which is sine theta 1 let me write this term first right sine theta 1 cos theta 2 so so this is cos theta 2 plus cos theta 1 sine theta 2 now we could write this as product of r1 and r2 and that is cos a plus b formula right so we get cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 and here we get i sine of theta 1 plus theta 2 so what do you notice we notice that when we are finding the product in that case the absolute value becomes product of r1 and r2 and the angle is sum of theta 1 and theta 2 so that could be represented by something like this right where z1 times z2 will now be equal to the uh, let me write here r1 r2 will become the modulus for this and theta 1 plus theta 2 will become the argument right so so now this is the product of these two so that angle here is theta 1 plus theta 2 is that clear to you as shown here right so this is a very important formula so whenever you multiply the complex numbers their arguments get added up and the absolute value gets multiplied right so so now we know that if z1 and z2 are multiplied then what we get here is the product of r1 and r2 as their absolute value and as far as the arguments are concerned they become sum of those arguments right so theta1 plus theta2 plus i sine theta 1 plus theta 2 is that clear so that is a standard formula which we are going to utilize in many of our problem solving techniques and also proving some theorems so i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best